Well, the, the record um, got really good uh, reviews right now, and I think it's a very, very good album, and the people are appreciating it. And yeah, I'm very satisfied right now with, it, with the whole production and everything that surrounds it. Yes, um, Phil, the, the, the guy of Deep and Mamati, is a very, 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 very de dedicated guy. He's really, really behind the music and money doesn't really matter for him. So it's just really from the heart. And that's something very important also for me because I'm doing, doing this just because I need to do this. It's not about money. And that's just the same thing for him and so it's just the right label for me. And it, it has been since 2007, I think, with Chronic Miss Uplifts, yeah. Yes, of course. Uh, I really support this label because he's a very uh, this this label is very very special in the, the scene and with all the different kinds of musicians and bands that have been signed to this label. I really want to support a festival consisting of all the Debbie Hormati bands and of course I support it and yeah. Um actually I don't know <laughs> any details about it yet but trying to get some <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so I'm always you know sending an email like Phil come on what's 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 going on now and yeah but it will take some time he was he was really Phil was really really um, astonished by the reaction of, of all the people on, on the Facebook page so I think that uh, left a, 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 a really major impression in his mind so he's I think he's willing to do this now yeah. but I'm also very I don't know what 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 will what it turn will turn out. So we'll see. <laughs> sure, I I noticed that uh, ninety percent of comments was just only about Bloodhouse Nord. That everybody yeah, yeah, doesn't matter to other bands. Yeah. Yeah, it's you know, very very famous. And well, they 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 deserve it somehow. They have a very very distinct sound. It's a well. Yes, but it's actually there's no no pause, you know. It's just constant doing something. Yeah, so it's been three years for this album, like one and a half year of writing. Um, then one well, it's like one year of, of recording every single instrument. That's very 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 hard task because I'm doing everything myself. Not like you know, many other. Solo projects, having a drum computer, something I'm really, really doing most of the drums myself. Really focusing on the music and trying to find out what the music needs to, to express a certain kind of feeling that is supposed to spread. <laughs> that is supposed to. What's the word? I find, I find, um, you know, the feeling has to has to be. Transcend has to transcend through every instrument. It's very important. Yeah. So I'm really having and um, putting a m much time into, into this 
into his procedure. Yeah, and yeah, and then also mixing is also a very, very important thing that I'm doing this myself because uh, this is also a very, very personal thing. Mixing your own music yourself gives another personal level to it. And that's what I'm doing. I'm only giving away from mastering. That's the only thing I do because I'm not I'm not able anymore to to to, to judge objective objectively when doing a mastering because I have spent so much time with all the, uh, writing, recording, and mixing. So for mastering, I'm just passing it by to another um, musician. Uh, yeah. So it's been three years now. And of course, you have to schedule the whole the whole um, release thing. Yeah, on this sounds up to three years. Actually, I'm a drummer. I'm, uh, I, I, I am a drummer, but you know, it, you, you can't, you can't, you can't. Um, playing a guitar is very different from playing drums. Drums is more, you know, like it's aggressive. You can put more, more energy into it. You, you walk, go around, and the guitar is more something emotional. You have, you have the riffs, you have the solos, and this is more emotional. Of course, drumming is also emotional, but it does more aggression. Now, so I, I can't compare them. It's, I like both instruments very much. Yeah. But uh, I'm a drummer, actually. <laughs> Exists, in my opinion, it's more and more dark, more dark and less, less experimental and more focused on on, on, on one message. But on um, the reflecting void, I, I wanted to to bring more different aspects of my musicality to it, and then well, bring more colors into darkness. You know, what to say like this. Um, and I think I managed it quite well because although there are several moments of Somehow positive energy, um, it will be destroyed just afterwards, and that's just what what the, the album really really can do very well. It's like you go up, down, up, down, up, down. There's no no, no there's no um, you know no zero point. It's just like wow, 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 and you always constantly <laughs> challenged to to to. Yeah, to feel it and to, to dive into it, and it's really, it's messing around with your head. It's really, really, really amazing what I achieved with this one. For my, I'm speaking for myself, because the pro producing music is f um, very important for myself. Just to sit down and, and listen to, it, to what I have done and and, and feeling it, what, what it trans transcending through the boxes into my head. So it's, I can't, I can't explain it really well. <laughs> but if tears come to your eyes because of your music, you have done something right. That's what it's all about for my music. <laughs> The, 
difference between um, the German and English language with this song is just one letter. It's like in English we say inner reflection, but in German it's like innere reflexion. Yeah. So many people tend to, to, to leave out the last E letter of innere. So that's what many people yeah, lead to. It's an English, English title, but it's not a German title. So. Now, since I decided, uh, decided in um, twen twenty twelve to to put uh, to establish a life ladder, and I had very big problems with it. And I'm still having big problems with it because mm, the musicians are changing and all that. So it's like we had, I think, four concerts or something like that. Yeah, that's it. And what's your future plans for for live playing? I want to play more often. Mm, not really. I'm, you know, I'm not this this guy like that saying I want to play there and that everywhere. I'm not. I, I I try to calm down and just take this and that and you know just to avoid doing too much because in fact this is generally a music that is best to be listened to when you're alone. Just you know with a bottle of wine or something in your room and just sit down and just focus on the music. And you, you know, you have to put all your senses to the music and that's m mostly impossible in a concert situation. So. But this concerts is something that, that gives me also a very, very extreme emotion that I sometimes want to have. So I want to follow this path now. And, but also picking some concerts, not everything that I get. Well, of course, a new album, but this will take some time. There are some Major changes, the major change, changes in my life right now that I have to cope with, and, but I will always focus on music, so I can be uh, most definitely sure that there will be another album. But I can't tell you how it will sound. You know, this is just it comes out of my hands and then it's there. So we'll see. <laughs> I'm just as, as curious as you are. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Great, right, so thank you very much and I hope I will see you playing live some sometime in future. Thank you very much. Thank you.